Shiba Inu is not known for their friendliness and sociable. So if you're considering getting a Shiba or already own one, it is the owner's responsibility to make sure you are constantly doing those three things right to raise a well-balanced, not aggressive, and maybe even sociable Shiba Inu. Just like most things in life for humans, for a dog, it is important that you are exposing it to various different environments early on and have your dog meet and interact with various living creatures to ensure it is well adapted to various environments. Sometimes when a dog gets aggressive towards other dogs, it can simply be it does not know how to properly interact with others because it never gets a chance to do so. Make sure you follow the three tips to prevent Shiba Inu aggression and raise a well-balanced, sociable dog. Tip number one, socialization. Socialization means once your puppy received all required vaccine and received approval from the vet that it is safe for it to explore the world outside, you should start to introduce your dog to neighbors, friends who also own dogs, or parks to make it have opportunities to interact with as many animals as possible when it is young. I did not recommend a regular dog park for a puppy, unless there is a puppy or small dog play area to have your puppy safely interact with other similar sized dogs. When my own Shiba Jimmy was young, I took him to a pet store where they offer free puppy playtime, and there was even a trainer supervising the puppy play during the play. I recommend you check with your local pet store to see if they offer free playtime for puppies. It is safer to have a puppy interact with other puppies. When similar sized dogs play together, it is less likely one dog will suddenly see the other as prey. I don't recommend taking your puppy to a large dog park when it is too young, because when there is a big size difference, the larger dog could see the smaller dog as prey and attack it. For Shiba Inu, before reaching 6 months, I recommend you closely supervise any dog play if there is no trainer present during the play. Socialization also means to have your puppy interact not only with dogs, but cats, horses, chicken, and maybe other commonly seen animals in your area. Getting your dog exposed to other animals early on and have it explore and interact with other animals is great to help your puppy grow to become a confident and calm dog when it encounters different animals in the future. It is also important to have your dog interact with kids of different ages if possible. For a dog's mind, little kids have a lot of unpredictable movements and it is very different from interacting with adults, which is a lot more predictable than kids. Unfortunately for Jimmy, it didn't have a lot of opportunities to meet any kids when it was young. So right now, he gets nervous whenever we see neighbors' kids walk by or riding bicycles. The key for socialization is to make an effort to introduce your dog to various types of living creatures, and whether it is once a week or if you can do it more frequently. Keep at it until your dog is at least 6 months old. Typically, 6 months is when the Shiba is fully mature. Although, for our case, I think Jimmy was still growing until it reaches one year old. Desensitization Dogs sometimes get aggressive because they don't know how to respond to a new thing. Aggressive dog may also be a nervous dog. A Shiba might get nervous when it encounters a new experience. The best thing to prevent your dog from any unforeseen new experience is desensitization. This means you want to make sure you are exposing it to various types of environments. Loud streets with lots of honkings, 
different noises from various types of cars, especially big trucks and trash trucks. Areas close to elementary school with lots of little kids' noises. Also, getting your dog exposed to commonly household items noise, such as printer, laundry machine, dishwasher, air conditioner, vacuum, basically any household items that move or make noise, you should regularly expose it with your puppy intentionally. The goal is to de desensitize it to those commonly see household items noise or movements so it does not get traumatized when it sees it in the future. If a dog has been exposed to various types of environment when it was young, it will be able to adjust to different environments when it gets older. If your puppy has always lived in a quiet, tucked away forest and never sees or hears loud traffic or cars passing by, it will get startled when it sees one. As a responsible owner, Make sure you are making a constant effort to take your puppy to various types of places regularly when it grows up to train your dog that it is okay to be in a loud environment. And also get used to various types of noises and objects it will encounter in its lifetime. Another tip for desensitization is to get your puppy used to human touch especially area close to its mouth, paws, tails, and belly. Certainly, you don't want to harass your puppy by overly touchy, but you should make a conscious effort to get your dog comfortable with your touch. This will also make it easier for you in the future when you need to shower him, trim nails, or during a vet visit. This one is somewhat similar to the desensitization part mentioned earlier. In general, without prior exposure, a dog can get nervous in any new environment. However, how your dog reacts in a new environment will largely depend upon how much exposure it got while growing up. If an owner has been making a conscious and consistent effort to take his puppy to various environments, your dog will act much more calm in the future when being introduced to a new environment. Keep in mind, adaptability is something that can be trained and getting used to. Giving your puppy plenty of opportunity while it was young to explore new places together, it will not only strengthen its ability to adapt, but also enhancing the bond between you two. When you invest in a Shiba, knowing all the good things it's going to bring you in the coming decade, do keep in mind that in order to raise a well-behaved and well-balanced dog, efforts need to be put in place to success. The earlier you start, the better result it will be. If you are curious about whether Shiba Inu like to cuddle, check out the video on the screen to learn more. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.